Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am currently in Narita Airport. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the shuttle to Terminal 1. I mean, the wait from Bangkok Airport was a gong show. There's so many people and um, I left the airport, departed at about 12.30 a.m. So right now I'm in Bangkok time. It's currently, I think, 6 a.m. in Bangkok right now. And um, in Narita, it is 8, almost 9 actually, 9 a.m. My flight from Narita to Vancouver doesn't leave until 4.30 p.m. So I have about an eight hour layover here in the airport. So I'm gonna hang out with you guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, duty free in Bangkok, you guys. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, I did pick up a little something something from Chanel um, and Hermes as well. Maybe I'll show you guys that later when I get to Terminal 1. But yeah, the duty free in Bangkok it was like gorgeous. Like so good. But I ran out of time. I only had an hour until my boarding, my boarding time was. So. And it was this was at like 11 a.m. 11 p.m. at night. Um, but yeah, still managed to go. Oh, my flight is here. Terminal 1, here we are. The bus ride was about 8 minutes, not too bad. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I managed to do a little shopping for like an hour at BKK. By the way, my, I am blonde again. You guys, I colored my hair the other day. And yeah, it is silver, blonde. I'm back to being light again. So, um, there's some warm spots that... I can still see from the coloring. I went to a salon in Bangkok that is fairly popular, actually really popular because some of the well-known celebrities actually went there. That's one of the reasons why I went um, and I saw some great photos of the hair so I thought I would check them out but honestly I could have done this <laughs> and it was pretty pricey. Um, let me tell you that, but I mean, saves me the hassle of coloring and bleaching my own hair. That's the good thing, right? So, blonde, back to being blonde. I was gonna do some shopping, like duty-free shopping here in the airport, but most of the stores are actually closed. Japan is still closed. They're not um, letting people in due to COVID. So it's mostly people who have transfers or residents here in Japan. So we'll see what's open. Um, I'm getting a little hungry. I ate a little bit on the plane, but not much. I tried to sleep because technically I was supposed to be in bed that at that hour. So I still have to find my gate because I haven't gotten my boarding pass yet. Even Starbucks is closed. Like it's completely empty. Like, yeah. Nothing. Some convenience stores open. A little eating area over there. Oh, look at that. They still have some Ulta phones here. I'm gonna ask the information so I don't walk around in circles here. Most of the store is completely closed. Too bad. I would have loved to check out all the goodies here. 
so I got a lot of info from the information center. She was so helpful. Honestly, Japanese people are so nice, so helpful. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go to a lounge and hang out for a little bit. They are, it's a Nairita lounge. Um, because I have to wait for my boarding pass, which opens at um, two o'clock. So I have to wait, two o'clock. Um, so I'm just gonna hang out around here, check out some of the duty free. There is some stores that are open on the other side, so you just have to walk there. Um, I wanted to check out the nine hour pods, but it's actually not in not in this area. restaurant it's gonna open at 11 it's still about 10 20 at the moment um, but yeah I wanted to check out the nine hour pod so maybe I can just see it I've seen videos hubby wanted me to check it out um, oh, food court Paris who wants to go to Paris yeah hubby asked me to check it out and um, but it's out of the airport there isn't one the airport so it's cute little pods where you can just like rest up and sleep and shower and everything there is a shower here at the airport that you can pay um, or go to a lounge so see dry room and shower which you can use here a few minutes later or final let's check out the dry room the shower and dry room This is what the dry room looks like at the airport. So we have the shower. And a bed. The blow dryer. I wonder if there's soap and stuff. Oh yeah, there is soap. Perfect. So the good thing about getting a room like this is that um, you can shower, it's free Wi-Fi, you can relax. Um, the bed is pretty comfy, it's a single bed. There's also room for doubles for families and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check it out just so that I don't have to wait in the lounge or in the, um, the waiting area or in the chair. So I can just stretch my legs, relax, I'm gonna shower because I still have another, the flight from, from Japan to Vancouver is another, I think eight hour, eight and a half hours. And I still have to wait here for another six hours. So yeah, still a long ways from home. The reason why I took the midweek flight, which is, you know, the long um, connection because I wanted to make it for Nico's birthday this weekend, this coming weekend, um, he's turning 14. So I didn't want to miss that. I was gonna plan to arrive on the day of his, you know, party or get together with his friends, but um, I think I would have been too tired. So that's why I chose the midweek kind of flight. So, but yeah, I'm gonna chill here. Too bad there's no food allowed in here. I think you're supposed to just sleep, use the Wi Fi take a shower and just rest up. The restaurants don't open until 11 o'clock anyways. Um, and I have this this room booked until 1.20. They do charge per hour um, for the whole time of three hours 
was about $27 US, so which is not bad considering, you know, the convenient, you get to relax a little bit um, and just chill, really, and not be bothered by people walking around and, you know, the noise outside. So um, I actually really like it. So if you're in Narita Airport, if you want to relax, go to the dry shower room. Anyways, I'm gonna unpack and rearrange my luggage because I want to put my stuff in the luggage so I don't want to carry it. I have too much stuff. I don't know. I have my bag, my pillow. I don't know. I didn't even use this pillow. And um, yeah, rearrange my luggage. So the lady up front gave me a water bottle and you get a fresh clean towel as well. Let me show you guys what I picked up from the duty free in Bangkok. I have been searching for this for a while and I'm so glad they had it. They actually had a lot of stock. Um, I was actually searching for this one in Bangkok, if you guys remember. They had one in the window, but they weren't allowed to sell that one. So I saw this at the duty-free at the airport in Suwanapoom. And it is the pink color. This is the um, Pearl Crush. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> Pearl Crush, which I have been wanting for a while, but never seem to really have it in Vancouver. It is a the mini card holder with the chain, of course. The strap is adjustable. And it is kind of like a nice bright pink I would say and I use my white one quite often so so glad they had this color they also had like a purple color um, I think I showed you guys that purple one in the vlog but this is such a nicer color than purple I mean I like purple but not for a handbag so this is it this is the one that I picked up so cute and I love the adjustable straps, the Pearl Crush here. It has a CC logo there and a slot at the back. Of course, gold hardware. And then for Hermes, I went in there looking for a few Twilly and I found a couple that I really liked. First one is this one here. This is actually my first um, Twilly from Hermes. Of course, I wanted to match my Kelly 25, which is gold on gold. This one here is a nice bright pink, yellow, and um, beige color. I think that would go really well with it. So this is the first one right here. The other one, oh my goodness, they had so many different colors and selection. Um, this is the other one I picked up, more of a pink tone. Um, both are really pretty. So there you have it. These are the two Twillies that I picked up from Hermes. Um, the Hermes in Japan is actually open as well, so I might just go have a quick peek as well. Um, Chanel is closed here. Now time to put everything away in my luggage. Thought I shared that with you guys since, you know, it's a good way of killing time. <laughs> done and done. So now I'm just gonna rest up for a little bit because I feel like I am a walking zombie. I'm so tired. Probably gonna take an hour nap and then shower and then grab some food. Other than that, we'll see what else is there to do in this airport. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
Even McDonald's is closed. <laughs> Seven Eleven is open. I should get my coffee here. I'm gonna look around still. Time to go to my gate and sort out my boarding situation, my boarding pass. Cute. Not open. <laughs> it's McDonald's again. I went the wrong way. <laughs> so back to where we started the shower room and then I'm supposed to go straight ahead to gate 41. That's where I was earlier. I got in because it was a cancellation so normally you have to book online before you arrive. Got lucky. Love being lucky. Straight ahead to my left. Oh, everything's open on this end. Oh, I like that banana. But I don't want to have to carry anything on board. Cute. Is there a crepe? I remember being here before. It's a big toe roll. Oh, so cute. <laughs> My god, Emma would die for this guy. <laughs> I bought a big bag. Maybe I can put it in here. Reusable bag. Favorite movie. Just me and my sister. <laughs> I got distracted from that store and went the wrong way again. I'm going in the right direction now. He's late. Just in time, the girls just got here. 41. I was gonna walk back to the duty free after I get my boarding pass to get some snacks, but it's a little far. It was like all on the other side. It took me a while to get here, so I don't think I'm going back. 20 minutes later. Oh, it's a little horsey. wonder if I have that in stock. Nice view of the planes over here. So I got everything settled, got my boarding pass, my seating is complete. I'm um, just waiting to board. I have about an hour and a half left. I did walk around. I wasn't planning to walk around. I told you guys earlier I was gonna sit and stay put in that chair, but I got bored. So I walked around. I went to Hermes. Didn't see anything that I wanted to buy, really. I'd rather buy it from my SA back at home so that I can put my purchase history up. Um, I was only looking for a rodeo but they didn't have any. They did, however, have one on the display in the window, but of course they could sell that. I also went to Gucci and um, Carter is actually right next to me right here too. Just browsing, you know, killing time. That's the only thing you can really do here when you're having a long layover. <laughs> I did really enjoy the shower and dry room. That was a cool experience, so I highly recommend that. I know I said that earlier, but if you have a long layover, it is worth paying the $30 for a good four hours of good rest, no one to bother you, no noise, super, super relaxing. So, um, just gonna, you know, sit here some more. <laughs> Thank you so much for keeping me company, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.